welcome back to BrickCraft, and are you a fan of Seven Deadly Sins? Well, so am I, because I made this giant pillow like King carries around in Seven Deadly Sins. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Here's a list of the materials you'll be needing for this project. So I had a little accident. Uh, my fabric was too long one way, but too short the other. So all I did was cut off the extra fabric and add it to the other side. And then I pinned that together and sewed that up the side. So now I have a longer piece of fabric. Next I ironed all my fabric. I pinned down the flaps where I sewed it together and made that nice and flat too. The next thing I did was use a piece of paper and draw a bunch of shapes on it and then I cut those out to make a stencil. I'm going to use a fabric pencil and I'm going to trace that out all over my fabric. This took me about an hour to do because the fabric is quite long. And then the next step is just to go around with your puppy paint and go over the pattern that you traced. Once the puppy paint is dry, go ahead and sew all but one edge good side to good side. If you don't feel that confident with sewing your pillow together, you can always just turn the fabric good side to good side and use some fabric glue to glue it together. Then once it's finished, go ahead and turn it right side out, add your pillow, and then I cut off my tag here and I folded the raw edges inward and pinned that and then I went through and sewed that together. When I started the project, I used about one yard of fabric. I suggest that when you do it, if you're gonna make it with a pillow this big, you're gonna wanna get about two yards of fabric. And here's what it looks like when it's finished. I'm really happy with how my pillow turned out because King happens to be like my second favorite character besides Diane. And I love him just because of his story with Diane. And if you haven't seen it, you should watch the show. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think about the pillow down in the comment section. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of those can be found in my description. See you soon.